Okay, y'all lied, man. I am going in the gym, but I just want to make this video real quick because I just feel good, man. And when I feel good, you know, I feel like expressing myself. And, and when I feel like I can say some shit that might help somebody, that's what I do. You know what I mean? Um, straight to the point, man. The real reason why people can't find somebody that like the, uh, the right person, you know what I'm saying? Number one, we have to define what the fuck right is. You know what I'm saying? That's number one on the list, y'all. What is the right person? You know? Is it somebody that looks like me? Or or let's just say this. Maybe maybe you feel like, hey, I'm not fucking with nobody unless he's light-skinned or the dark-skinned. What if somebody that looks like me is the right guy? What you gonna do? See? A lot of a lot of the shit, the reason why people can't find the right person, not just looks and all that shit, is they're not honest with themselves, man. You got to stay in your own lane. Let's say, for instance, I try to speak to a, a female. And she acts like I, I don't don't exist and like I'm the, just the ugliest motherfucker on earth. I'm just some ugly ass bum who doesn't exist. So be it. That girl don't want to uh, uh, fucking speak to me. It is what it is. You got to accept that. It doesn't mean that something's wrong with you. It doesn't mean that guys she likes is better than you or, or vice versa. Because a lot of women are fucking with men, right? Who don't really see them as so special, right? It doesn't mean that you aren't special as a woman. It just means the person or the people you are dealing with don't see you that way. The only way that you're going to be seen as a special person is to deal with somebody who feels that way about you. No way around it. And if you can't find somebody that you feel that way about, that feels that way about you, you have no other option but to work on yourself and stay to yourself. A lot of people, this is why being alone, the power of being, the power and capability of being alone, this is why it's so fucking important to find the right person. Because if you don't, what you're going to do is you're going to fold, you're going to crumble. When you or let's put it like this, you like, let's just say I'm going I'm to try to do it from a woman's perspective for a second. Let's say a woman likes a guy a real a whole lot, but that guy really just wants to fuck. Right. If she's not a woman that can master being alone. Right. And working on herself and being happy and all that. She's going to keep chasing after that guy, chasing his validation and hoping and praying that this motherfucker will somehow act right. Which he's not going to, because if he really seen you as that special person, he would already been acting right. You know, you can't you can't make a motherfucker like you more than what they already like you. I mean, I guess you could, but not really like people already are setting their ways of who they like and who they don't like. Stay in your own lane. Only deal with people who find you special. That's the only way, man. You've got to stop dealing with motherfuckers who um, just see you as a benefit. They don't want no long term. They don't want to fuck with you the long way. As a woman, just because a guy thinks you look good or wants to fuck you, you got to understand that doesn't mean that he thinks you're special. Say that shit again. Just because a guy thinks you look good or wants to fuck you, it does not mean that he thinks you're special. You know how many other women he might think look good and he would fuck? Think about it. You got to ask yourself these things. If you want a guy that really like you for you, you really got to screen this motherfucker out. I tell women all the time, do not lead with your looks. Yeah, a woman wants to know that she's beautiful. For the most part, you know, all women have beauty. So just throw that out the window. Looks are subjective. That's why I tell women, fuck that. Fuck um, seeing if he cares about how good you look. Fuck about fuck the sex part too. See if that person really like you for you. That's how you can tell. There's really no other way. But I just feel like a lot of people are fucking with people who don't see them as you know, that top tier person. What I, in other words, like maybe a guy sees you as ah, she's, she's fuckable. I'm going to tell you like how men talk when y'all not around. Yeah. She's fuckable. You know, what does that mean? That means he, he a fuck you, but he really don't like you like that. You know what I mean? And it's, it's just sad. And as a woman, this is fucking dangerous because it's so easy for women to be interacting with men because why? Because a man got to interact with a woman to fuck her. Right. As a man, it's kind of easy. If a woman really don't like you, she probably won't even respond back to you. She probably won't even say hi to you. It's a lot easier. 
It's not, it don't work that way with a female. That's why it's so harder for women to find the right man. And that's why men should stop judging women so hard saying, oh, they like the wrong guys and this and that. It's not, they can't really help what they like for the most part. And sometimes men are wearing that mask. You know, they got to wear that mask to get the sex from the woman. That's all it's about at the end of the day. But, um, Learn how to tell if a man really is into you and if he's not. And don't go by just actions or words. Some people say you could tell by actions or words. I feel like you you got to um, go by both because if a, pers a person could lie with both, a person could lie with their actions or they can lie with their words. But I feel like the other will expose eventually. So if I'm li if he's lying with his actions, eventually his words will contradict something. If he's lying with his uh, words, eventually his actions will contradict it. Same thing with the women, you know? So if a woman is lying with her, you already get what I'm saying. Go by both. Don't just go by, oh, if don't worry about a man's words. Go by his actions. I could lie with my actions. I could, I could just want to fuck you and bring you over some fucking roses or something and act like I'm so in love with you. Think about it. And a lot of times that's what happens with women. They get deceived by a man's words and his actions. So, but guess what? If, if they line with one or the other or both, something's going to contradict. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like this before I go. As a woman, if you're a woman or a man, keep a small head. Don't get no big head when you're dealing with somebody. Don't, don't be like, uh, um, don't be not confident. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be confident, but keep a small, keep a, um, small head like okay well she she could play if she played the next guy she could play me or or if he just wanted to fuck this woman he might do that to me too don't be like well i see he got five baby mamas but you know i'm different nah because it don't it don't work that way even if you are a special woman that don't mean the person you dealing with is going to see you special or that don't mean they're going to act right and most importantly if you're having a trouble with a man cooperating, he's probably not trying to fuck with you like that. If you got to beg a man to fuck a commit, he probably not trying to fuck with you like that. Same thing with a woman, vice versa. You know, I tell men all the time, you know, men getting sexual harassment charges and all this shit, all because they just don't get it. Like if a woman really wanted to try to fuck with you, she would let you know in some way. Stay in your own lane. If, if it's women that you don't really like back that like you, you just got to wait. If it's men that like you, that you don't like back, you just got to wait. Self-improve as, as a woman or man. Focus on yourself. Learn how to love yourself because ultimately you can't even love. You might fuck up your relationship simply because you don't love yourself enough. Meaning like when people don't really love themselves like they should, what do they do? They, they, they put too much weight on the other person they with. They, oh, you didn't pay me enough attention and, and I need this and I need that from you. But just think about it. What if you were somebody focusing on yourself? You will, you have your own shit. You wouldn't have to ask a man for so much or a woman for so much. You're, you're capable of being alone. So, so maybe that person ain't showing you as much a, attention that you would want because they're tired or something. You're not going to take it to heart and put all this weight on them. Show me attention, motherfucker, and all this shit. You get what I'm saying? It just, the only way like to make a relationship happy, because it's hard as fuck, because the hard, the longer it is, the harder it gets to keep each other happy. You got to ease the load, man. Stop putting so much heavy shit on motherfuckers, even though that's off subject. I just feel like, you know, look at men that you know that like you and then look at the ones that you like and ask yourself, why aren't they acting like them? Because if they like you, more than likely, they're going to act just like the motherfuckers that you don't want that like you. It's the same shit. They're going to say, hey, good morning and all that. See, some of y'all, when a man says, hey, good morning, y'all, this motherfucker, he's lame. I don't want to fuck with him. He likes you. That's why he's doing it. And the other motherfucker that you like that ain't saying good morning and all that, he probably don't like you like that. That's why he's not doing it. Or he's playing hard to get or whatever. Either way, it's still childish. Two can play a game, but why would you play a game? You lose when you play the game. You waste time when you play a game with a motherfucker. Gr we grown-ass people out here. Nobody got time to play games with motherfuckers. Nobody got time to hold hands and raise grown-ass people either. Life is too short for all that. Relationships are way too hard for all that.
most importantly, when it comes to relationships, I feel like if two people want to be together and make it work, it will work. If not, if one don't really want to be and the other do and all that, that's where you get all this kicking back and and why didn't you answer my phone call last night, all that bullshit. You ain't got to deal with that, man. I know as a woman that is, that stimulates your emotions if you're a female listening, but it's not good. I understand women think, oh, well, drama makes the relationship more fun and entertaining yeah but it's it maybe it do but that's kind of crazy talk if you think about it that'd be like me saying i need a woman that's going you know to disrupt my peace and because it makes the relationship more entertaining it's, it's it's insane you know nothing wrong with a relationship going perfectly right people say that's boring and all that well have fun when you heartbroken and motherfucking lying and cheating and shit that shit ain't fun so, you know, you got to pick one, man. Sometimes people be in fantasies and shit, you know, thinking that they want a, a, a relationship where a man is, he's hard to find and get to and he's talking to other women and all this other shit. Man, that's crazy, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, that is not life. That is not love. It's not even worth it, man. Relationships are supposed to be peaceful and happy. Y'all supposed to bring each other peace. This is facts. All the shit that she go through in the world, all the shit he go through in the world, y'all supposed to be able to come to each other and, and y'all supposed to be that getaway drug, not this other shit. But sometimes the reason why y'all not getting that is because for some reason, let's just say my face. See, I'm a good looking dude. A girl be like, nah, he's not light skinned. She'll X me off like I can't fuck with him. He got everything going on, but he's not light skinned enough. I, I X. He's not white X or whatever. Sometimes, man, this is why y'all not finding the right person. Nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. Man, make sure that you're not writing people off for the wrong shit. And don't listen to people. That's another thing before I go. People hate on people. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah, he did this and this and this. Don't talk to him. Because they know that he better. I see that a lot. Men know that a motherfucker better on a whole nother level. Oh, no, nah, man, he, him, this and that. They hate. Just like women will do. They'll hate. If a woman likes me, but she sees that I like another girl or something, one of her friends or something, she might start hating. She might literally start hating like, nah, she fucked what's his name or she's this or that. And, and uh, this is just what they do, man. Or maybe she's not, maybe a person, maybe a dude's not even my friend, but he knows you act, a girl acts about me or something. Or, or maybe he just assumes, man, that's a high value man. Let me, let me throw some dirt on his name real quick. So this girl won't try to talk to this guy. Or other females will do it. He didn't like me. So let me say something about him so this girl don't like him because she mentioned his name. You know what I mean? A lot of shit. A lot of reasons why. Some of y'all friends is a reason why you can't find the right person or why you liking the wrong ones. Because a lot of them, if they not happy, guess what? Yeah, go pick him, girl. He, get with him. And she know that motherfucker ain't shit. But she can't find the right one, so she wants you to join the misery. Same thing with the men. They do that shit all the time. All right, fucked her, dog. No, damn well the motherfucker ain't never fucked her, right? But she didn't want him, and he might think, oh, he might got a chance with her. So let me just throw this monkey wrench in there real quick and act like I fucked a girl. And as a man, a lot of times that's going to be like, ah, damn. You know what I mean? Well, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with people who fuck with you, man. Period, man. All this crying about a motherfucker don't want to treat you right and all this. Understand, man. It don't matter how good you are to somebody if they don't really like you. It does not matter, people. It don't matter how much money you got, how good you look. You see, it can happen to anybody. If a person feel like they don't really want you no more or they never did want you or whatever, it just is what it is. You cannot change that. You, you should only deal with people how they fuck with you. All this other shit, this feelings, uh, I can't get over the motherfucker and all this bullshit. You better learn to love yourself more. These are straight up facts, man. So in other words, I could like a woman a whole lot. But if I see that she's on some fuck, fuckery, like she fucked another guy or something, now it's time for me to just love me. Fuck it. I can't love you no more. You see? Unless I decide to give you another chance or something. But all this emotion shit, I can't get over. I see men going through it too. I can't, I can't leave the girl alone, man. Woman, treat him like shit. Don't respect him at all, but his emotions tell him that he can't move on or, or he has to put up with it. Oh, we got a kid together, so I got to put up with getting a black eye. Come on. No, you don't. There's a person called God, man. 
There's a person called God and he will get you out of that. The devil put you in the bullshit. That's why it's not right. When anytime something goes wrong, that's not God. People are talking about God uh, is trying to teach me a lesson with a person. That's why he let me get with this person. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit, man. I feel like a lot of times it's our own lust and evil and shit thoughts and, and why we like motherfuckers is the reason why we get caught up with the wrong people. Think about anybody you liked that was wrong. Think about, was it really some godly shit that really you liked about them more than the, the evil lust shit? More than likely, it probably was some bullshit. And that's why it turned out to be wrong. If it ain't right, it's wrong, y'all. So, yeah, I'm out, man. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. I know that you, if you like somebody and they don't like you back, just immediately stop liking them. Fuck that emotion shit. I can't get over this. There's always somebody better. And guess what? It's going to be somebody that you actually like and they like you back. They actually like you back. So I'll say this. Don't even like somebody until you see that they liking you. Until you see they worthy of being liked. Until you see that they're worthy of being put on a pedestal and all that. You got women out here putting a motherfucker on a pedestal because of his skin complexion or his height. And, I, and I'm not a short guy. But and I'm not an ugly guy, but no woman should put me on a pedestal because I, I look good or I'm, I'm tall. Come on, man. Or because I got money or something. Yes, I understand you want these things in a man, but you shouldn't put the motherfucker on a pedestal. This is what men do with women. Oh, she looks good. Pedestal. This woman could be a murderer and everything about to set this motherfucker up next week like she set up the last guy. But because she looked good, let me put her on a pedestal. That don't even, it remotely sounds stupid and it's not right, yo. I'm out this motherfucker, man. You know, fuck with motherfuckers or fuck with you. If they not fuck with you, there could be a number of reasons. Some of y'all getting your feelings, oh, they don't like me. I'm a, I'm a prove to them that I'm good and why they should like me. It don't, don't even do all that. Who cares why they not like you? A lot of times a woman might like you or a man, but it, the timing might be wrong. Maybe they got a girlfriend or something. You never know. You never know. Maybe they think you're a, you got a boyfriend or girlfriend or something. So don't take it to heart. Some of y'all chasing validation from people, you know, and that's the problem. You don't need nobody's validation, man. The person, the people that want to fuck with you, you ain't even got to you don't got to pull teeth to get their validation. They're already trying to fuck with you. That's why they hitting you up. Good morning. How are you doing this or that? Why is that not reciprocated? I don't get it. Why is it the motherfuckers that um, ignoring you and shit? Why do people go after that? I understand this, though, as a woman, another thing why women need the master being able to be alone is because a lot of times women are caught up emotionally with the wrong motherfucker. So they so they can't even see the greatness in you anyway. Let's just say a woman would really want to fuck with me. Like, yeah, I see him. He looks good. He got this and this and this going on. Right. But if she's emotionally attached and tied up with another motherfucker that ain't treating her right or whatever the case She's not going to be able to break through that. It's going to be too hard. She's not going to be able to see the full effect of how she really feels about me because she's tied up with another motherfucker. And a lot of times why she's why she's tied up with another motherfucker, because she did not wait after she broke up with somebody else. Instead of being patient, let me let me sit back for a minute and get over this person. Now, nah, what they do a lot of times is they go to another motherfucker instead of being patient. And then you fuck around and ruin something good. You could have just told dude, look, look, I, I think I'm interested in you. But right now, uh, mentally, I'm not there. I, I just got out of a relationship with somebody and that dude will respect you. So if you come back around later, he's not going to look at you sideways like, oh, you played me. Now you want me. Now nah, he can be like, you already told me what it was. So it's all good. But people don't want to keep it real. The truth set you free. Nobody want to do that, though. Nobody want to do that. But honestly, though, I'm gonna leave it with this, man. When it comes to most men, they they feel like um, they feel like um, on the men's side, on the men's side, I feel like most men just feel like it makes them a man if they fuck a whole bunch of women. And unfortunately, society tells them this shit. And a lot of women actually reward men for this shit. You get rewarded for having a lot of women, or or should I say this? You get rewarded for putting yourself out there and um, trying to fuck a bunch of women because that's the only reason why. You know, a lot of men are fucking with a lot of women. But on the other side, right? Let's say you're a man that, you know, you just want to handle your business. And you don't want to just fuck any woman. A lot of women will look at you and say, hey, nobody wants this guy. Something's wrong with this guy. 
You know what I mean? He never been married yet or something. Something wrong with him. Nah, maybe he's just smart. Maybe he got standards. Just like a woman. Oh, she's pretty and single. Something must be wrong with her. Maybe she fucking just got a fucking black eye last week, last relationship, and motherfucker set her house on fire and shit. She's just not going to just fuck with any dude like that. See, people don't look at it that. People look at shit all wrong sometimes. Meanwhile, they give credit to motherfuckers that are in relationships. And some people are only in relationships because they don't want to be alone, right? And then you got some people in relationships in somebody's other, in somebody else's inbox or something. I'm not judging people. I'm just giving y'all an example of saying that relationship status matters when it comes to people. That's bullshit. Not necessarily. You know, sometimes a woman that looks real good is single because Nick, motherfuckers don't have the balls to even go up to her and talk to her that happens a lot too stay in your own lane man fuck with people who fuck with you that's the way to do it because that to me i feel like that's like following god's plan i feel like when you just trying to fuck with any and everybody you trying to force shit you're trying to talk to any and everybody. It's kind of like having a whole bunch of people in your life that's not supposed to be there. Now you got a whole bunch of snakes and everything in your life. That's kind of what it is when it comes to, you know, just um, not not really accepting, not really accepting and being honest with yourself about who really likes you and who really don't. If a woman really like you, I promise you, or or has some interest, I promise you, you're going to know. If you got a question, oh, I don't know if she likes me or not. I'm trying to tell you more than likely she probably don't. And even if you're in a relationship with a woman and you start questioning, does she really care about me? Why is she so mean? Why is she being rude one day and the next day she this and that? Even then, because if a woman really happy with you, that don't happen. Or a man. If you're, if you're a woman and you got a question, man, does this guy really love me or not? What's going on? Why he, why he this way this day and this, that, the next day and all that? A man that really is happy with his woman and really want to be with her, he's not going to do that shit, y'all. I promise you, man. A woman going to be very happy. A woman will be very happy with a man that really wants her because a man will go through his whole limit. He'll go out his way, almost give his life. He might even give his life up, you know, depending on the situation. But on the other hand, Sometimes a man want to do that or sometimes a woman want to do that. But the person they with is kind of like restricting that by the bullshit they doing. So some make sure you look at yourself first. Like, OK, am I doing everything? And have I shown this person that I care and all that? If the answer is yes. And they on that bullshit that I just said just a minute ago. Don't even deal with it. Just accept the fact that they really don't. They, they want other people. They're greedy and they want more than you. Or they don't really want you like that. It's one or the other. There's no other way around it. Ain't no fucking way that I'm going to be good to a woman, right? And she supposedly wants me the same way back. But somehow there's some friction. In a, no, it don't work that way. The only, the reason why there might, the reason why it might be that way. I'm, I'm so Let's say I'm going hard for the woman, but she's got all this friction and shit. That's because she really don't want me or she's fuck with other people too. No other way around it. Because if she really wanted me like I wanted her, everything would be copacetic. Some some of y'all got in y'all mind that you supposed to argue and fight and, and it's supposed to be all this friction. No, it's not, man. Remember, before I go, a lot of people will fuck with somebody that they really don't want like that. Just so they not they don't have to be alone or something. And I'm not judging them for that. I'm just trying to let y'all know the signs of what you should look for if if you are in a situation like that. This is not a video to judge people on why they do why they do the shit they did. I, that's on them. This is more of a video to let you know the signs of why it's why you might not be able to find the right one or why you're not with the right one. More or less why you can't find them. There's somebody out there's people out there that just think you're the best thing in the world. And then there's just some people out there that ah, he's not really all that or she's not really all that. That's just the way it is, man. Everybody not going to like you, man. And the quicker you get that through your fucking head, the better off you'll be because you'll know you only fuck. You'll know when people really do like you or really don't. And then you won't fuck with the ones who really don't. And I get it. Sometimes men will wear a mask. Sometimes women will wear a mask, but their actions 
And, and sometimes women will wear a mask. Sometimes men will wear a mask. And men and women can both, they can still lie with their actions and their words. Don't get it twisted. Don't think uh, just their actions is the truth and, and they can only lie with words. No, they can lie with actions too. A woman can suck your fucking dick dry and be thinking about, I'm setting Brian up in a hotel tonight. Come on, Brian. I'm about, yeah, come on over, Brian. Suck your shit dry. And when you're done, hey, where, where's that money at, dog? Break yourself. Give me that money. See, her actions show deep throw. Yeah, Brian like shit. Uh, she, she fuck with me. Next thing you know, pistol through your head. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Act, they can lie with actions and words. But guess what? Before I go, I'm out this motherfucker after this. Even though people can lie with their actions and their words, eventually one or the other will contradict. So the so if they're lying with actions, their words will contradict. It won't match up. If they're lying with their words, their actions will contradict. Vice versa, or both. It, it, either way. But um, if you fuck with somebody that fuck with you, man, life is so much easier. A lot of motherfuckers struggle with women or men because they're trying to fuck with people who don't really want to fuck with you like that. It's just what it is. Accept it. Keep the small head. All this big head shit. I'm the bad bitch. Every man want me. Nah, every man don't want you. They might want to fuck you or whatever. And same thing with men. I'm that nigga. Okay. You might be for, uh, I mean, but most, a lot of women are only fuck with you for certain reasons. So all I'm saying is make sure the people you fuck with really fuck with you. And you'll be, a, you, the experience of fucking with a woman who really fuck with you or a man who really fuck with you, it's not even comparable to the subpar people. Ah, you're okay. I'm only going to fuck with you for this. It's not even close. Just like a woman who really want to fuck with you, her sex and head, not not, not even close to a woman. I, I, I don't really want to do, but he going to give me some money tonight, so I'm going to give him some sex and head. It's not even close. It's just not, dog. It's not the same. Just like a woman, if if I really care about a woman versus a woman that I'm just going to fuck her tonight, dog, it's not the same how I'm going to fuck that woman. The woman I care about, it's a whole different ball game. You know what I mean? There's going to be all, I fucking eat the girl out or whatever. I'm not eating no girl out I don't really care about. I'm just saying. I'm not going to be cashing out to a woman I don't care about and shit like that. I'm just saying. Y'all get the point, man. So don't settle for less. You know, you deserve the best. You deserve to be happy. And the only way that's going to happen is to fuck with motherfuckers that want to fuck with you. If they don't want to fuck with you, immediately just leave them alone. You got to have that abundance mindset. You know, I've heard somebody getting sexual harassment and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't leave a woman alone that don't want them. If she don't want you, who gives a fuck, man? I feel like if a woman don't want me, that's her loss. That's how you should feel. If a man or woman don't want you, that's their loss. And it is really because, you know, you was about to legitimately go hard for them. Now they got to find somebody that will. And that's going to be, that ain't going to be an easy task. You know what I mean? They might pick the wrong motherfucker. It is what it is, man. So I'm out, man. Y'all have a good one, man. Shit. I'm happy. Birthday weekend. Be smart out here, man. It's a dirty ass game out this motherfucker, man.